How's it going everybody? Rybrand here today and we are back with another episode of our Arizona Coyotes franchise mode and well this is a video I didn't think I'd be making. I thought I'd be making uh, the offseason by this point. I thought this video would not be the playoffs but hey uh, you know what we went on a pretty crazy run here to end the season. It was pretty uh, spectacular. I mean let's we, we lost just a few games here. I mean there's okay there's five right there but six seven so we did lose more down the stretch but we had a fantastic month of February. Uh, in which I think we only lost one game, and that was to this first-round opponent, uh, the Winnipeg Jets. Um, not as good of a march, so maybe we were coming back down to earth, but, you know, we made it into the playoffs. I think we're the 16th team uh, into the playoffs, so we were the very last team uh, to clinch a spot, and, well, I'm kind of expecting Jets in four or five. But, hey, if the Columbus Blue Jackets can do it anybody can do it so let's go ahead take a look real quick at what the winnipeg jets will be throwing at us we have patrick line mark shifley and blake wheeler that is a really good first line uh ehlers little and kyle connor perot hayes and tanev roslevic lowry curdeals yeah i re <laughs> there's just too much good talent and depth here morrissey bufflin truba myers uh shiriot uh and bull you i mean that third defensive pairing is not great but if you guys, I'll show you our lines in just a second that we got Connor Hellebuck. Because uh, I know a lot of you may not remember exactly what we had as far as our lines were concerned. But I made a lot of trades. Uh, and I sold off a decent amount. So we got Keller Galchenyuk, Schmaltz, Ponick, Dvorak, Grabner. Yeah, it just instantly falls off here. Hinostroza, Kraus, Fisher, Hosa, Richardson, Merkley. I mean, Ekman Larson is good, but Demers, Bowmeister, Bowmeister really uh, had a good season. So. I, I made the trade for him because I needed to take on some salary, and you guys can see he made $5.4 million uh, in some of these deals. Jacob Chikrin, uh, pretty good season for him, I think. Uh, he had 27 points, so he's doing well. Uh, he's in the last year of his ELC, so we will have to re-sign him. I think he actually has an extension already uh, signed. Osterley and then Connaughton. I, I mean, I, I don't know what to say uh, about that third defensive pairing. And then we got Auntie Ranta and Darcy Kemper. So Auntie Ranta really is very... I mean, he's good. He's good. I'm not going to, you know, go nuts over Auntie Ranta. But we are going to hold a team meeting just so I can uh, hopefully boost the team morale, whether it's Game 7. And Demers is the only one who lost morale because demanding is the way you always want to go. So let's go ahead here. Game number one in Winnipeg. Let's go ahead and get it started. Now, I think I'm going to go quickly unless it's an elimination game or it's tight. Uh, we'll go with the first period. We're down one nothing. Dustin Bufflin opens the scoring. A good, probably a slapper from the point. But we equalize. Ponick on that second line equalizes. And it's one-to-one. -one, and the shots are just about even. 20. Uh, we do give Winnipeg a power play, which doesn't come back to bite us, believe it or not. They do start to pull away in shots a little bit. But we are... I mean, it's neck and neck. It's, I mean, they have the advantage. I'll give them that. But 1-1 one, one with five minutes to go in the third period. I would not have expected that either. I, I kind of expected Winnipeg to win all of these games handily. Uh, but we're going into overtime in game one. And, you know, considering the uh, last game of the regular season, I believe was a 4-3 overtime win in our favor. We've been here against the Winnipeg Jets. We've done that before. So we got a five-on-three power play in overtime and we can't convert. And yeah... If you're going to blow a 5-on-3 in overtime, you're going to get scored on. 2-1 final in overtime. Uh, good game from Antti Ranta. Good game from Connor Hellebuck, that's for sure. Uh, and then we got Blake Wheeler. Yeah, you got that goal. I mean, it's just, it's going to happen, guys. We check our stats. Who did well? Dvorak and Ponick got the points. They were also the guys on the ice for the goal against. Was that a power play? Yeah, it was on the power play. So we did score on the power play in that second period. So we yet to tally an even strength goal. Uh, and Demers has a mild concussion. That is, that's just great. Do we have anybody, any defenders scratched? Yeah, Libushkin, Ilya Libushkin. Do we have anybody better in the system? Uh, just, just go to back to edit lines. I don't care. Uh, go. To, let me just go to roster moves. Do we have a better defenseman at like in the in the organization? Uh no, we do not. So. Oh god, this is gonna be this is gonna be brisk. This is gonna start to get a little bit out of hand. I'm gonna put you know what we're gonna leave it. We're gonna leave Schmaltz down there. Cause I mean they were fine. He took two penalty minutes, but I kinda wanna spread up those minuses just a little bit. Marion Hosa hopefully will retire after the season. I hope, because then his contract's off the books and I can be a lot happier. Uh, but we're giving Chikrin top line ice time. I mean, you got to do what you, you know. I don't have the roster right now. But we do have a lot of things planned for the future, so hopefully 
uh, we can go into the off season. I mean, I'm I'm, I'm going to stop talking so pessimistically. I'm already counting my team out, and it's only down one nothing. So let's go ahead see if we can pull off an upset here. I don't believe it, but hey, miracles do happen. So. Go ahead. First period, we take the lead as Nick Schmaltz as he got demoted to that second line. So I tried to, when it, when I hit best lines there and he did go to the second line, I was like, oh, I didn't want to. But then I figured if we spread out some of the talent on our team, we might be able to, you know, get more depth scoring. Uh, second period, oh my goodness, Galchenyuk and then Ekman Larson. So two of our top players here. Go ahead and get us goals. It's 3-0. I'm a quick sim the third period and Kyle Connor scores. But guys, we have taken one on the road. And you know what they say, you're not in trouble till you lose one at home. And well, the Winnipeg Jets have lost one at home and we are tied with them 1-1 in the series. So it's, it's guaranteed. We're not going to get swept. We're guaranteed not to get swept. We're going to do better than the Lightning. We're going to do better than the Tampa Bay Lightning who won 62 games. I'm sorry, Tampa Bay Lightning fans. Uh, I'm not playing this game. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm going to run that into the ground. But, you know, it's, it's funny. I think it's funny anyway. Uh, first period. And it's nothing, nothing. And they have the advantage in shots uh, by two, seven to nine. Then they're going to go ahead and put two in Little and Shifley. Are we going to be able to come back here? If we put one in early, I'll... Okay, they put one in early. I'm going to just skip it. Three, nothing, Winnipeg. They shut us out at home. And, well, I guess we're in trouble now because we lost at home. Jay Bomeister in... Oh, my God. We are getting absolutely shafted with injuries right now. So I don't know who the heck I'm going to call up because whoever they are, they probably, uh, yeah, look at, we lost to Mers and Bomeister. So we're playing Australian Libushkin, uh, Capo Bianco, Kyle Capo Bianco or Robbie Russo. Um, I think I'm going to go with, or gross. We got Jordan gross here as well. Uh, he's an offensive, you know, what? let's get, see if we can get some offense, give the kid a shot. I have absolutely no clue what we're about to witness here as far as the defensive pairings but best lines it again because well i don't know what the best lines on this team are so i might as well let my assistant say oh my god that defense is horrendous that is just terrible defense uh yeah and a three nothing loss well it's gonna happen um because we don't have a defensive core so we're maybe we're not breaking the puck out of the zone but the shots did seem even so we'll see maybe we can get some bounces to go our way at home here in game number four Three, four, it's game four. Anyway, period one of game four is over. We are being outshot by three, but the scoreboard is still even. We do take the lead as Schmaltz again on that second line. The guy has been absolutely killing it. He led the team in points this season. No, Oliver Ekman Larson did, but he was he was right up there, guys. So we're up one nothing, still down by three shots, but I'm gonna go ahead and slow sim this uh, third period of game number four. We could tie it or go down three one. And speaking of tie it, Mark Shifley is going to get the tying goal of this game. I believe on the 23rd shot of the game for them, but they've been quiet in shots lately. We've been seeming to put on the pressure, so maybe we're going to get the next goal. I can't tell you how to read it, but we get a power play late in the game. And they didn't really get a shot on goal uh, since Shifley's goal. So that bodes well for us. Maybe they'll make adjustments in the locker room. I don't exactly know, but they come out with an early shot. Uh, although we seem to be putting the shots on and the pressure on, I have no clue what is, you know, oh, okay, Winnipeg just had a very good shift, apparently. Um, with five minutes to go in the first overtime, it's still tied. Nobody has broken the deadlock yet, and we're going to go into second overtime, and it should be done within the first 10 minutes, because that's how second overtimes go in the sim. And I'm going to hit play. Who's going to score? Let's see who's going to get the next shot. It looks like we're getting a couple shots on goal before Winnipeg does. And yes, Christian Dvorak is going to get us a 2-1 overtime win. And I can just kind of tell that was coming uh, because as soon as the second overtime started, we started to get a lot more shots than they did. It didn't seem to go up at all in shots. Clayton Keller was a minus one. Libushkin, Merkley, Hosa, and Gross were all pluses. Oh my God, that just goes to show you. Plus minus doesn't necessarily mean anything. Uh, not all that much in my opinion but you know it's it's the best we got and brad richardson is now down down with a sore hip are you kidding me how many injuries are we going to get in the playoffs well nick merkley you get your shot kid oh hey no he's been playing who's who's getting their shot nick cousins nick cousins is getting his shot lawson kraus maybe gets to move up there i don't entirely know but hey we've won 
two games in this series, and I pegged us to win one or zero, so do it better than my expectations, guys. So just keep it rolling. I don't know. Maybe we go to game seven. Who knows? The puck bounces in mysterious. <gasps> Jason Demers is back. That's good news. That's very, very good news. That makes me really excited. Um, I should probably send Gross down. I'll just send him down, set the best lines in the AHL, because, you know, we want our AHL squad to do well. Um, what, do, what do you want to talk about, Ackman Larson? I'm really, uh, with my playing time? Good. Just keep working hard. Yeah, there you go. He's just going to be so freaking happy. Oh, I'm sorry, Gross. Uh, I'm going to work extra hard. Oh, that's cute. I'm sorry. Uh, but you're, oh, wait. Uh-oh. So I got to keep him up because we'd be under the salary cap. So he's just going to ride the pun. He had such a good attitude. I couldn't really send him down anyway. He was like, it was so cute to see him be like, oh, I'm going to try really hard. It's like, that's great, but you're still a 74. Anyway, going back to Winnipeg, tied 2-2. It's a brand new series. Best of three right now. If we can take two out of three, we'll come out and go into the second round. And then the first period, Christian Dvorak, the game-winning goal scorer from the previous game, gets our first goal on the board in game number five. We are up 1-0 in game number five. Will it last through the second period? No, no, it won't. Uh, Kyle Connor evens, uh, but it's the game's still pretty even. We get a power play. Oh, we can't. Oh, and they get a power play. At, oh, my God. It's oh. Is this power play going to... Oh, my God. It, it, I swear to God, that lasted like five minutes. Maybe it was a major. And then Grabner gets us a goal, and we're up 2-1. to one. Against the run of play, the Arizona Coyotes have taken the lead, and with two and a half minutes, they look to take a lead in the series. We give away a dumb penalty late in the game, but we are going to take game number five, and we're now up 3-2. to two. Guys, we are on the brink of moving on. Richard Ponick with two goals. This team... I'll tell you what, they saw me trade everyone off. I don't know if, if I got rid of somebody they didn't like. Auntie Ranta's been playing pretty darn well. Uh, we have not been scoring a ton. Two goals. We've scored two goals in our last two wins. If you're the Winnipeg Jets, that's just unacceptable. You can't lose when you hold the opponent to two goals in the playoffs. You you got to score three. Like, you got to score three. I mean, I'm not, I'm not going to complain because we're getting the wins and we're up three, too. But, you know... We're going to probably keep going here. And nobody got hurt. Would you look at that? Nobody got hurt. And we we won a third game in this series. So we're guaranteed to at least go to seven, which is all I could have asked coming into this series. Will we uh, make headlines, I guess, sneaking into the playoffs? We'll find out. First period. Oh, actual goal scoring. Schmaltz opens the scoring, but Ehlers and Wheeler answer back. 2-1 Winnipeg after the first, and that is like the highest scoring period we've had all series. Second period. But we answer. We don't answer. Richard Ponick answers by himself, gets us a 3-2 lead, and we have the lead in shots. We gave them a power play. We're going to hold them off. Can we score? Christian Dvorak scores on our power play. God. Ponick, Dvorak, Schmaltz, no Keller. No, not really Galchenyuk or Ekman Larson. I know those two guys scored one goal. Nick Curdiel scores shorthanded. Guys, come on. It's 4-3. We have a power play. Just Auntie Ranta, shut the door. Come on, Ekman Larson. He nets the empty netter, and we are advancing to the second round of the playoffs against all odds. We did it. We're on to the second round. Let's go. I'll take that. Connaughton with a minus two, but uh, Merkley, Hosa, Cousins, Chikrin, Leibushkin... Uh, and Hina Stroza, but Dvorak had three points. Oh my goodness. Ponick with three points. Connaughton with two. Schmaltz with two. I mean, Keller had one, but it's not the guys you'd expect. But I can tell you what guy you would expect. How did he do that game? He made, okay, he made 20 saves on 23 shots. So not quite as good as he's been doing. But hey, the one time Auntie Ranta doesn't quite live up to our expectations and hype is the time that we go ahead and... Uh, and get five goals. So he lets in three. Like I said, you should at score at least in the playoffs. One goal per period. And, you know, you should rely on your defense. We got him five because he let in a third goal. So, wow. I am I am surprised. I saw that first game. And I was like, that's a lot closer than I thought it was going to. I mean, this game in the regular season, uh, we won in overtime 4-3. So it was at least going to be close. We lost in overtime there. We win 3-1 here. 
lost 3 0 here. We had injuries all throughout. A 2 1 overtime win, a 2 1 win, and a 5 3 win. So we by by far are not winning by any kind of large margin whatsoever. But this team, I, I got some gutsy guys. These guys are gutsy. They are they're they're winning in you know three points, one point for Galchenyuk. In the in the, he's got more penalty minutes. He's got as many penalty minutes as he's got games played. Uh, we got two points for Vinny Hinestroza. Grabner got himself a goal. Schmaltz with five points in six games. Six points for Richard Ponick. Uh, Lawson Krause doesn't sniff the score sheet, but Christian Dvorak also has six points. And then Christian Fisher has a single point. Then we've got Cousins only played two games. Merkley got himself an assist on the fourth line. Same thing with Marion Hosa. Now defensively, uh, three points, two two goals more importantly for Oliver ekman Larson. Nothing for Demers, but he did miss half that series. Uh, Jacob Chikrin is a minus two, but he only he has a point, so not terrible. He had playing 25 minutes a night. My, oh my God, 29 minutes a night for ekman Larson. Uh, Jordan Osterley hasn't done anything, but he's not a minus. Uh, Kevin Connaughton's a, uh, got two points, but he's a minus two. And then we've got Ilya Labushkin. Five games, two points points i'll take that i mean i would not expect that from this kind of guy uh and then in goal the man that yeah and look at those stats that is the reason we are where we are he won four out of six 939 save percentage and a 179 goal against average that is spectacular and hey you ride the hot goalie in the playoffs and auntie ranta oh jay bowmeister is back so we got some good news here guys jay bowmeister is healthy and ready to go and that should oh man that's a boost headed into the uh Heading into the uh, second round here, getting him back. Uh, you know, and that's part of the reason why you want to just get it over in six games. Don't want to go to that seventh. You know, who could have gotten injured in game seven? Or, you know, we, we might have gotten eliminated. And the current round of the playoffs is over. And we will face the Chicago Blackhawks. And I got plenty of time in this video. So we'll go ahead and check out the lines. But we won't do any simulating. I'm sorry if any of you thought that that's where I was leading. But, uh... So they have Saad, Taze, Kane. God, Kane is insane. Perlini, Dabrinkat, Cahoon. Kajula, Strom, Kunitz. Kruger, Anisimov, Hayden. So it's... it's. Uh, I'm struggling to say that it's like us because they obviously have better players, like our best players in 87 on our forward. Uh, we have no one near Patrick Kane's level. And Saad easily beats Hina Stroza. Uh, but as far as the depth, we kind of have similar talent levels as far as depth. Uh, and then defensively, it's it's largely similar. We got Al Ekman Larson's better than Keith. Uh, Demers, I think, is better than Yoka Harjo. I think he's an 82. I'm not entirely sure. But then we got an 81. Uh, you know, it's very similar. And then in goal, Antti Rant has been playing well. I, he's not been he's been playing basically at that level. Uh, so it's really darn close. They don't have anybody hurt either. So I guess we'll have to see how it goes. But that's gonna have to wait. For the next video, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to leave a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you want to see some more, and I will see you guys in round number two.